the Backseat Directors. I'm Bastian James, and I'm joined as always by Zane C. Weber. I'm Zane C. Weber, and I like movies, and I like talking about movies, and I'm also here with none other than the wizard himself, Dozer. Hey, oh, that's me. <laughs> I'm always a little bit concerned about using titles like The Wizard, and I guess <laughs> that's just because I go to a real dark place with that. Um, but he's, he's a good wizard, right? Thanks. I mean, yeah. I mean, his picture is dressed like a wizard. That's where I got my inspiration from. <laughs> I would hesitate so to this- call Dozer as a uh, dominatrix uh, or anything <laughs> like that without without oh. getting his consent first. Well, thank you. Yeah. Well, were you guys happy to roll into some games? Let's roll into some games. I'm going to level with you guys. I'm very embarrassed about all of the issues that occurred uh, last session, and I'd like to redeem it with what I think is a reasonable but difficult game. Oh, okay. I have two films. I will be going through and performing some quotes from those films for your benefit. I have actually gone through and numbered the quotes in a way that goes from harder to work out to what I consider to be easier to work out. Oh. Some, now, some of these quotes are like one-off characters saying something, and some of them I'm actually going to give you a back and forth between a couple of characters that makes the quote give a bit more context so it's not just me saying, oh, hello there, you know, and not a hint, it's not Star Wars. Um, <laughs> oh, banana. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> but which episode? <laughs> which episode uh, is it, Dozer? Episode two. Episode two. Episode Damn two. It. He's always one step ahead of me. Yes, I'm ready. So this game is a called, I call uh, quotability, just for the sake of actually labeling a name to it. Oh, good. I've got a much less prepared version of this game for later. <laughs> <laughs> so I have 10 possible quotes for this first film, and I think I got 14 or 15 for the next film because I I found there was a bit more to work with there. This first one is a back and forth. I'm going to try to uh, present that in a way that you can tell where one character begins and one ends, but obviously I'm not going to give you the names. Okay. This is part of a quote. Okay. First quote. Think of my children. You don't have any children. Well, someday I might. Any takers for quote number one? In a world. Is it Clerks? It is not Clerks. Mm. Oh, banana. Yes. Is it Clerks 2? No, it is not <laughs> Clerks 2. <laughs> Dang it. I was about to try. Quote number two. This is also a back and forth. Mm-hmm. Patience is a virtue. Not right now, it's not. Hmm. Go on. Hmm. You don't have to guess every quote, guys. You yeah, are. no, I don't have anything on that one. That didn't really reveal much. Nope. Next quote. This is just a one off one. I only gamble with my life, never my money. Oh, ah, in a world. I don't know like how sure you sound. This terrifying. is the mummy. It is the money. The Brendan Fraser one, yeah. Brendan Fraser. Yep. It is too. <laughs> I had some I had some good quotes. I wanted I, I guess for the sake of transparency, I want to this give you the, the final quote. Please. Um, which I I still was trying my best to exclude like Imhotep in a quote or something. <laughs> um, but we would have eventually gotten to like this. I don't know, it's difficult. It's just a book. No ever harm, harm uh, no ever harm came from reading a book, which I thought was nice. There was a couple of other ones there that drop like character names, like the occasional Rick. Benny comes up in a lot of quotes because he's a little snake boy. Yeah. But, um, nice. Are you guys ready for the second movie? Yes, okay. I think I am. Yeah. Let's do it. I just cannot believe any of this voodoo bullshit. Hmm. Hmm. Uh, in a world. If you get it first time, saying I swear, man. I don't think I'm going to, but I'm going to take a shot in the dark. I'm going to say Hot Tub Time Machine. Incorrect. Oh, good guess, though. We've made it through one. <laughs> We're doing it. We're doing it. Any guesses on your end, Al? Uh, Doris, are you happy to continue? Uh, nah. Your move, King to Rook 1. My move, Rook to Knight 6. Checkmate. 
checkmate. Oh. Oh. We're getting some very good guesses in the in the chat right now. Um, I'm happy to volunteer this information to you because none of them are correct. Um, <laughs> we've had Mr. Redcastle with the mummy returns. No, but I really did consider it. <laughs> And <laughs> from face and then the scorpion king etc etc <laughs> yep uh and face muffins with evil dead and potato patronus coming in with harry potter and the chamber of secrets i'm gonna give you guys this it's none of them <laughs> can i can i ask for some clarification on this quote is mm-hmm. it um is it delivered ironically or is this meant to be like a threatening thing neither okay interesting then i've got nothing Oh, oh, um, uh, the Da Vinci Code. No, yeah. oh, okay, right. interesting. Next there was chess story. talk in there. Yeah, there was, there was a lot of chess talk. Maybe we're at war with Norway. Oh, uh, I have a. Oh, I'm not Wait, certain. So, though. so was that was that the the quote? That was the quote. We're not at war with Norway. Does they are uh, they are firmly allies at this point in a <laughs> um, world. There was no breaking news on this stream. <laughs> <laughs> is it war games? It is not war games. That's a very good oh. guess given the last quote uh, with, with Fraser. Right? Was uh, that- I don't think Kelsey Grammer was in war games. Was he? It's John Cusack, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, uh, what 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 am I thinking of? Oh, down Periscope. Yes. <laughs> I do love that movie. <laughs> that is not a bother. That is it's not it. <laughs> That's a funny guess. <laughs> oh. All right. Well, Moving on. Video break up there. You guys all we're all here. Oh no. You're breaking up a little bit. <laughs> you killed Zane. I want you to go. Wait, what? Did someone just threaten right. me? Are we good? <laughs> Oh, there you are. Hello. Yep. <laughs> I'm waiting for him to catch up on my screen. Oh, he's almost appeared. Am, am I back? Uh, do you want to press on or do you want to am I alive? The, uh, things to clear up? Yeah, you're back. Hooray. It says my connection's unstable, guys. That's terrifying. Oh. Can you stop having an unstable connection? Have you considered that? Um, or does that to you have be, to pay more for it that? It seems to be mostly fixed. I don't know how the chat's going with it, but yeah. All right. Next quote. This is a long one, so give me time to, to get this one out. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You guys think I'm crazy. Well, that's fine. Most of you don't know what's going on around here, but I'm damn well sure some of you do. I should say I am not I, I saying these in the same way that they're being said in the film because I'm not an actor. In a world. Mm. Is it the, yes. the Big Lebowski? It is not. Hmm. Ooh. Hey, because I want to chat. Just confirm. Are we we're back to normal signal wise for you guys. You're fine. Let's come through, right? Is it the room? It's not the room. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. I'm glad it's not the room. <laughs> I might watch that. No, don't. Why? Don't. No, stop it. <laughs> I take offense when anyone says they'll watch the room. Maybe well, watch, watch it one once to see some, what it is, and yeah. then never think about it again. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. That's what. Well, what if What if I watch the the Seth Rogen one again? Watch it once, realize that it's pointless, and then never watch it again. Okay. Thank you. That's all I ask. Deal. Yeah. Is uh, Seb here? Yeah, I'm here. Oh, good. Thank you for yeah, letting okay. us have that little riff. Poor baby. He's starting to lose it. Poor baby. Starting to lose it. This has gone in weird directions. I've got nothing for that one. Mm. Poor baby. Uh, Shutter Island? It. It's not Shutter Island. Mm. Oh. Mr. Redcastle, I don't know what the delay is like, but I want you to say that was actually a pretty good guess, but you're wrong, but it's a pretty good guess. Uh, hot Rod. It's not Hot Rod. <laughs> <laughs> Alternatively, uh, Dozer. That's a very bad guess. <laughs> okay, so warm or cold? <laughs> Incredibly cold. <laughs> like horribly cold. <laughs> 
So we're not talking about a comedy. Um, we're not talking about. I'm not going to say yes or no to comedy, but we're not talking about that one. <laughs> we're not talking oh, about that yeah. comedy. All right. <laughs> Next quote. Oh, Sam, you've lost it. All right. Admittedly, this one's a bit mean because it's yeah, fuck you two. It gets delivered much better than that in the actual film. That's like the this. I feel like these are just generic words that appear in maybe one billion movies. <laughs> they get more specific as time goes on, but I feel like the real uh, clue is like maybe we're at war with Norway. Mm. You know, um, uh, spy or the spy, the Melissa McCarthy one. No. Okay. Oh, Miss Congeniality. No. Ah. <laughs> I feel like I might be leading you down the wrong path here, Doze. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this next quote, if I'm remembering correctly, is the final quote of the film. If it's not the final quote of the film, it's in the closing conversation of the film, but I'm, I'm fairly sure it's the actual last line. All right. Mm-hmm. Why don't we just wait here for a little while? Oh, in a world. See what happens. In a world. It's the thing. It's the thing. Is it? You've got it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Cool. That was, um, um, I can't remember the chess quote in that movie. It's the one female role in the entire film when he's playing against the chess robot at the very beginning and he of loses and pauses. Of course. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Uh, Mr. Redcastle was pretty close. He came in with They Live. Starring Roddy Piper, okay. which was directed by John Carpenter. Yeah. Um, and had um, oh my goodness, I always forget his damn name. What's the actor's name? Keith David in both films. Kurt well, Russell. Well, Kurt Russell's not in both films, but he's in this film. <laughs> uh, what was my final quote? Like my nice one. Um Oh, yeah, it was the, I know you gentlemen have been through a lot, but if you could find the time, I'd rather not spend the rest of this winter tied to this fucking couch. <laughs> um, yeah. Yeah, cool. I think uh, massive lag issues on the stream, but I think they're just a little bit behind us, I think. So that's fine. Well, we'll fingers crossed. Um, you're pretty clear on this end, so. Yeah, I can hear you guys in real time fine. No drums yeah. at all. Right, do you have uh, an- another set of quotes or shall we move on to a different game? No, those are my two. All right. Awesome. I well, think we should do your game now, Zane, because uh, too many quotes all at once might... Uh... <laughs> might confuse everyone. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. All right. Well, let's move on to movie blackjack. Now, I'm thinking yes. of a number, gentlemen. It's between one and ten. And Seven. what did you guess? Seven. And Seb, what's your guess? <laughs> uh, six. My number was three. So Seb gets to choose whether you go first or second. <laughs> oh, uh, well, Dose, what did you want to do? Did you want first or second? <laughs> <laughs> so your game was null and void. <laughs> um, uh, let me go first. Go on. Okay. okay. So the aim of this game is to... Estimate the ratings of particular movies, the popular ratings on the Mm -hmm. movie uh, database letterboxd.com, the social network, uh, and then try to add up movies until you get as close to 21 as possible without exceeding it. So. I like it. Dozer, your first movie is 2017's Logan. Because this is like poker, should I put on like some vague sunglasses? Yes. That's what they do for poker. I don't have like proper sunglasses. These are, these are kind of like shooting range sunglasses because they're tinted yellow and they are mm. filthy actually. I take it back instantly. <laughs> well, I'm glad that worked out so well. Yeah. Um, oh, look, I feel like it wasn't probably the most well received, but it is one of the best um, Wolverine films. When you say Better. Logan was not well received, <laughs> can you elaborate on what that, that would mean to you? 
Like I um, think it was very well received. <laughs> yeah, maybe in your like bubble. Um, yeah, in your bubble. <laughs> okay, yeah, no, you, 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 no, it's fine. Remember, we have very different opinions about things, and mm-hmm, mm-hmm. their opinions. No, that's fine. Yeah, you lefty please, commie. Don't be, no, please, yeah, opinions no, Logan are like loving. assholes. Everyone's got one. <laughs> um, I want to say so. It's out of five, yeah, but we're doubling. Correct, so. yeah. So the the maximum score a movie can have is five. The minimum is one half. So and out of your list, because I know you did this last time, what was the highest number on your list? The highest score on my list overall of of five hundred movies that I've randomized here. Yeah. The highest score out of ten is nine point six. Okay, so it's not a nine point six. <laughs> <laughs> I want to go. Uh, I want to say eight point six. Okay. All right. Yeah. It said it's not that good. Gives it an a freaking academy. <laughs> I award didn't say. Award. <laughs> <laughs> you disagree? <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa! <laughs> I didn't say that. I didn't think it was good. <laughs> I just said not everyone. <laughs> Thought it was good. Okay. Now remember, <laughs> if you like, you everyone knew that one, but you might not remember this one. So you can ask for some further information. You can choose either the cast or the genre, or you can ask for the uh, uh, synopsis. Okay. Cool. So this next one is The Brothers Grimm, released in oh. two thousand and five. <laughs> yes, stellar film. This was uh, one of the best. It had Matt Damon in it, right? I don't know. Yeah, I can confirm or deny that if you <laughs> ask me to confirm or deny the cast. I'm, for, I'm um, writing down my tallied scores, what I'd give these, so I can <laughs> work out when I'd bail on this one. Um, oh, the screen. See, I don't know. I'm thinking. Ah, uh, like a four point eight, I reckon. So a four yeah. point. So you're actually pretty close to my estimation. Yeah, I went four point six. I it's actually just thought like, I was being generous. It's, <laughs> it's it's like it's not one of the greatest films ever, but it wasn't like the spirit. If I'm splitting hairs, I honestly think it's going to be a three point eight. But I've got four point six. But I will re- reevaluate when we get deeper in this one. <laughs> yeah. All right, so I am right. assuming that if you think it's that low, you would want to hit again. Yeah, so what did I do the first one? 8.66 yeah. and 4.88. So it's 12, 13.4. Yep. Six. Four. Yeah, I'm good at maths. You got this. Okay. Uh, yeah, yeah, let's go. Let's hit again. Yep. Okay, your next film released in 1999 is Being John Malkovich. (laughs) Why did I get another stellar film? (laughs) But then again, it's artsy and not everyone would be like right into this. It's true. So I'm going to go with the solid seven. Okay. So does that mean that you are... Are you gonna hit again, or are you gonna? No, I'm. I'm on like twenty point four. I'm. I'm staying. Okay. <laughs> I, I'm sitting at nineteen point six, and I would also have been electing to stay here. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. Um, what's your actual score? Do we actually is it actually twenty point four, or you just said random numbers? I think it's twenty point four. Yeah. Oh yeah. There it is. Yep. Cool. Cool. All right. So we'll move Let's on to this. Seb. All right. Good luck. Your first film. Yep. Yep. Released in 1999, mm-hmm. Eyes Wide Shut. Ooh. Cool. Hit me. <laughs> All right. Your second film. Released oh. in 1983. Oh, Joe's, I'm assuming you'd hit as well with one film, yeah? Yes. <laughs> well, yeah, but like I was talking too much. Points. Okay. Um, I've given that a five and I reserve the right to round it down to a four other options come up that I'm reevaluating. So, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Uh, so your your next film released in 1983, Lone Wolf McQuaid. 
Okay, so I don't know what that is. I'm going to assume it's because it's terrible. I'll give you the tagline. Please. The Mad Dog Criminal. The Lone Wolf Lawman. The Ultimate Showdown. Cool. I'm on nine. Hit me. (laughs) (laughs) I might be being really mean to Eyes Wide Shut, but my memory is it might be between a four and a six in terms of like, yeah, I don't think it was well received at all. I think it's kind of those, it was one of those weird films where people just didn't enjoy it, honestly. Okay. This one, I'm just a shot in the dark. It sounds like a terrible film, I'm guessing. I have no idea. We're going to shoot forward a few years to uh, the year 2000, turn of the century, and the classic movie, Shanghai Noon, the Old West meets the Far East. That's going to be a 4.6. Jackie Chan. Yep. Easy. It was the... Oh, wait, was that Shanghai Noon? Was the second first or the second one? Was Shanghai Nights the second one? That is up to you, my friend. What year was it? 2000. 2000. 2000. Shanghai Noon was the first one, not the second one, I think. Because, yeah, Shanghai Noon makes, yeah. So let's up that to a 5-2, which is going to put me on 14.2. So I will go one more. One more? Yep. Okay, your next film. <laughs> Mr. Red Castle believes it's a 9.9. Just yeah, yeah. <laughs> we are not in agreement. It's not a bad film, guys. It's just like, like come on, it is what it is. It's a popcorn movie. Like, I'm not saying it's not fun, but I'm saying it's getting above fucking five and a half. It sounds like you're saying it's not fun. <laughs> no, it's fun. It's just like it's candy, not a meal, you know? Candy is a meal. No, this, shut up. <laughs> if you eat enough candy, it's a meal. <laughs> What's the next one? What's the next one? Released in 2013, Legends of Oz, Dorothy's Return. There's (laughs) trouble in Oz. 2013? Yes. Oh, no. This has come up in random trivia because it's like the longest gap in sequels or something between the original Wizard of Oz and this. And remember, I can tell tell you if you like the cast or anything like that, if you would like some some context. Sure. So we have Glee's Leah Michelle. We have Dan Aykroyd, Patrick Stewart, and Hugh Dancy, along with Jim Belushi and Oliver Platt, Here's Kelsey Grammer, problem. and Tom Kenny. I'm giving it a four, um, which puts me on 18.2, which I think is that's keeping in mind eyes wide shut. I've given a five, and I think it could be a four to a six realistically. Mm. So if it's a six, I'm closer to 19 to 20. I'm going to call it there because I feel like unless I get a really shitty movie next time, I'm going to bump over 21. So, but I don't think any is good movies. Okay. Oh, well, we got nine. Also, 10, 14.2, 18.2 is where I've estimated I've landed. All right. So, well, would you hit or would you stay there? Um, I would probably hit one more time. I think you've overestimated a few. <laughs> I'm not hitting. I want to be clear. I'm yeah. out. But out of reference, saying, can you reveal what the next the title of the next film was? Just the so title of the next film was Dinner for Schmucks. Oh yeah. Oh, that would have been lower. 2010. Been low enough. It actually made it work. <laughs> Fine. Oh, okay. Well, I didn't uh-huh. know. like that's that's easily a, that's a three to a two somewhere. <laughs> oh. Zach Galifianakis is debatably kind of funny in that film. Maybe it's a 3.5. Steve Carell is all right. 3.5, I should say. Yeah. Mm, this is a bad movie. Anyway, I'm, I've left. It was. Um, 18.2 is what I'm guessing. All right. So I, I guess, Seb, I'll, I'll let you uh, let us know if anyone. <laughs> where, how, this, how, how, do the, how do the viewers at home think you've all done? Oh, uh, yeah, guys. Do you want to? Do you want to throw? Could any of my lovely, lovely mods, you're both so good looking, <laughs> is it possible to maybe put up a poll to see who everyone thinks was uh, closest with their bets? It's just, yeah. They just said Seb loses. Yeah. So um, I agree. We could formalize that in a poll as is the democratic way, but I feel like that's really conclusive. <laughs> okay. Well, <clears throat> Logan in 2017 out of five stars has a 4.1 rating, making it 8.2 overall, Alex. Ooh, I, gave Ooh, it I was seven, so close. Eight. You gave it an 8.6. I was so close. The Brothers Grimm in 2005 overall has a 2.6 rating for a 5.2. Oh, I overestimated there. You gave it a 4.8, Dose. 
Yeah. Yeah. Under, uh, under, is under is ready. I gave it a four yeah. six. So I was even further up. <laughs> yeah. Right. And being John Malkovich, released in 1999 out of five stars, has a solid four stars for eight <gasps> overall, meaning Alex scored 21.4 and busted. Oh, what? Stupid brother's well, grim. For the record, you actually your your guess has got you twenty point four. So you were <laughs> yeah, you were, yeah. You were in the ballpark. I yeah. was one whole. Oh, that's very <laughs> disappointing. But I mean, if it makes you feel any better, with my guesses, I would have hit nineteen point six and still busted on yours. Mm. So, yeah. all right, yeah. Seb, for the win. Eyes wide shut. <laughs> I, I, I fold here. <laughs> <laughs> Eyes wide shut. Ninety ninety nine out of five stars has a rating of four for Fuck eight. I gave it a five total. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> so that's what eight. Yes. Uh, Lone Wolf McQuaid in nineteen eighty three out of five stars has three stars. Shit. For six. I'm, I gave it a four. So I'm, I'm, I'm sitting on 14, but I'm, I was sitting on nine. <laughs> Shanghai Noon in 2000 out of five stars has three stars for six. Oh, I give it a 5.2. Yeah. That's 20. <laughs> and you Legends. Suppose Legends of Oz got a half a star rating. <laughs> Legends of stars. Oz, Dorothy's Return, released in 2013 out of five stars with an all star cast. Got 1.7 for 3.4, meaning oh. Seb busted on 23.4. Hey, I was I was closer. Yep, you were closer, you were closer was, but unfortunately you both failed this time. Dang. <laughs> dang, dang. I appreciate how good I was when we first did this with, with no witnesses. <laughs> There's still recording, so there's some that's witnesses. True. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Well, that, uh, that's it for, for, for movie blackjack. Uh, I'm, I'm glad that I got to humble you a little bit this time. Mm, yeah. Mm, Cause you mm. both, both played it really safe last time. Didn't like it. Well, Joe's, do you have a game? I do. How are we going for time? I will say we are about a half an hour, so maybe we should end the episode here and come back with uh, at the start of a new episode. Yep. All right. Well, that's been the Backseat Directors. If you want to find us more, you can find us on Twitch or you can find us on Facebook. You know, the links will be in the show notes. Uh, and, yeah, enjoy that. I've been Zancy Weber here with Dozer. Yo, yo. <laughs> Your classic catchphrase. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, your diggity, it's the me, y'all, Bastion. <laughs> what a seamless <laughs> sign off. We should be professionals. Catch you next time. Bye.